Hey everybody, welcome back to Mission Control for another feature focus video. This is what you want to talk about using time code with your queue lists. Time code is a way to automate a queue list so that lighting, video, sound, and other effects can be synchronized across devices. Many complex shows are automated in this way to ensure everything happens at exactly the same time. ALS consoles support internal time code, MIDI, clock, RAMP for programming, and STIPI for audio. There are four time code windows, allowing different queue lists to be linked to different time codes. Using timecode. To start using timecode, first go to the timecode menu on soft key E, select which timecode window you want to use, such as timecode 1, and then make sure that the type of timecode shown under soft key B is what you're using, such as internal. This is the only type of timecode we can start and stop manually from the console. All those are determined by external sources. The timecode sources are interchangeable, so if you're programming on internal timecode, then switch the source to MIDI or Stimpy when you get to the site. You have to make sure the queue list is connected under the connect to queue list. Press the blue swap button of the queue list to connect it to the timecode. There are two ways of entering timecode values. Either this is a playback view using the number pad or by using the live record method in this menu. The playback view method is good for editing timecode. To live record, fire the fader of the queue list. We will be ready for the first queue. In order to record, make sure you have the record highlighted on the soft keys. Once this is turned on, every time you press go, it will record the time value shown at the top of the window into that queue. To start the timer running, press play on the soft keys if you're using internal, or start the external timecode stream. Now press go at the desired intervals to fire your queues and record the timecode values. When you've finished recording, make sure to come out of record mode by pressing record again. Tip, if you are re-recording or adding new cues, be sure to disable the timecode source so your cue list will not fire to the old times. To play back your cue list, you must do two things. First, make sure the, the timer option of key C reads timer enabled. This will allow the timecode to fire the cues as it reaches the correct value. If you wish to re-record your timecode values, repeat the above process with the timer option set to timer disabled. You will also need to reset the timer, so press pause and then reset on soft keys. Now when you press play, it will start the timer and so start running your cue list if using internal timecode. You can fire your fader and play the timecoded cue list you just recorded via another method. If you go to the main soft keys menu, select open more space window, then find timecode and bring up one of the timecode windows that's user friendly with options to play and reset the timer. So let's take a look at all of this. So here we are on version 15 of Titan on the Titan Go interface, as well as our full version of Capture. We see here I've got the timecode window open, and here I've got a queue list with the 10 queues in it and currently has no timecode recorded. So if we go to our timecode soft key here, we see here we can set it to timecode 1, 2, 3, or 4. We're going to set it on 1. And we can change it from internal to either no timecode, MIDI, uh, Winamp, uh, the clock, or uh, any Stippy port. We have connected. In this case, we're going to leave it on internal. We don't see that's the same stuff we have here set in our timecode window one. We're going to leave it disabled while we record. Then we'll click connect to queue list and we'll select the queue list seven. So now if we went back, we can see that it is selected and on. We, this is where we can hit our record key to start our record method. We can also play, reset, and change the start time of our internal timecode. We're just going to do that with our timecode window here instead of on here. So we'll go ahead and raise up our fader. Then we're going to turn on our record. So now anytime we press go, that'll get recorded. So we're going to start our timecode playing by hitting the play button here. And then we'll hit go. And we'll wait a couple seconds and hit go again. And a couple. And a couple more. And a couple more. And we'll just do this till we get all the way through our queue list. Once we've reached our last queue, as we have here, we'll go ahead and turn off the record method. And we'll go ahead and pause our time code and reset it. We could have also done that with our soft keys here, uh, but we did not. So we'll just go ahead and exit that menu now. And we'll go ahead and double tap release to release all running playbacks. And now if we enable our timer, we'll go ahead and hit play on our time code, and we see that the clock stops running and our cue list starts firing at the specified times.
and we go ahead and pause our time code and reset it. If we were to change to a different time code source, such as SMTPE, which I have coming from an external source, so if I start playing on it, see the time code is being received, and our time code show runs just the same. And it was pause that time code. Obviously, our cue list would stop because the time code coming in stopped, and we restart it. It continues on playing. Editing the time code in the playback view for the cue list. After clicking on the time, you have the following on the soft keys. Time code equals. This is set in hour, minutes, seconds, and frames format and move between them, which we're using the through and and keys. Offset, lets you set the offset amount in hour, minutes, seconds, and frames. The add plus button adds the above specified amount of hour, minutes, and seconds to the selected queue or queues. Subtract the same thing, except for it removes that specified time. Select all, selects all the queues in a queue list. Time code queue enable disabled, enables or disables the time code for the selected queue or queues. And frame rate equals shows the frame rate of the currently selected timecode source. So let's take a look at that. So we here we are again on our same queue list. If we wanted to edit the time of say our start queue, say we started a little late, we can click on it. And then our time code here, we can see we've got the seconds, the minutes, and the hours. And we move between those with our through and and keys. We're going to change our frames from 425 to 0. And we enter, we see that it saves that time. So now our queue list will fire on two seconds instead of two minutes, 425 frames. So here, if we've got the offset, so let's say that uh, we get to our show site and all of our time codes off by one second because these sound guys put an extra pre roll on it. What we do is go ahead and use our select all here or tap here and select all of our queues. And then we can go ahead and put an offset of 1. And now when we hit add, we can see it adds 1 second to all of our time code. Or we can hit subtract and read to undo that, or hit subtract a second time, take it down to an even faster start time. If we wanted to disable uh, any particular queue or disable them all, since we have them all selected, we can click here and see that it all goes back to set disabled, or we can turn it back on. Or we can do that for individual cues. We see here our frame equals. That's going to be shown by what is our source. If I change to SMTPE, we see that my frame is shown at 24, but when we start rolling it, it is actually 30 frames. And if we bring up our capture so we can see it, we can see that everything runs with the new time we gave it by subtracting or adding. So that has been time code for Aculus and version 15 of Titan. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe. Join us on Facebook at Able Lights US and join us here next time. Thanks. Bye. Real stop. Roger, we'll stop Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.